we are moving to the next blending mode that's color burn and here onwards i'm not covering all the minute points because we don't need that every blend mode in this category is similar works similar so you can follow the previous blend modes that comes in this category that's darken and multiply to do settings or make changes so color burn that react differently when opacity is adjusted compared to fill the color burn blending modes gives you a darker result than multiply by increasing the contrast between the base and the blend colors resulting in more highly saturated mid tones and reduced highlights the result is very similar to the effect you would get when you use the burn tool to darken an image Color burn blending modes gives you a darker result than multiply by increasing the contrast between the base and blend colors that's resulting in more highly saturated mid-tones and reduced highlights. Then let's make a copy of that layer then change the blend mode to color burn. It makes more darker, that's the result. It makes more darker than any other blend modes in this category. So let's reverse these things. Then we can make a solid color layer. Let's go to sol solid color. Then I am here. I have selected a magenta color. Then when we can change the blend mode to color bar. So what happened? It changed to a magenta texture. And we can decrease the fill value a little bit. So we we can color correct using this blend mode. That's the benefit of using this blend mode. So and we have another options here but it comes with the combo options and we can do some other settings in the blend mode if we use the blend if setting but we will discuss later a look at that oh we can do some random changes so we are moving to the next blend mode the next blending mode in the same category is linear bond so the linear burn decreases the brightness of the base color based on the value of the blend color. The result is darker than multiply but less saturated than color burn. Linear burn also produces the most contrast in darker colors than any of the other blending modes in the dark group. So it makes more darker the image. And also linear burn blends differently when fill and opacity values are adjusted. So let's take a look at the linear burn with the same image then we can make a copy of this layer then let's change the blend mode to linear bar it makes more darker than the color bar look at that it's more bright then it's linear burn is a little bit dark then let's make a color adjustment layer with the same color that we previously chose magenta then change the blend mode to linear burn also it makes a little bit darker and it is the as I mentioned earlier it is the most darkest blend mode so we can arrange the fill value and opacity value a little bit to correct we can utilize this in the same way it is more darker it's useful for some situations okay let's move to the last blend mode in this category that's darker color darker color the next and the last blend mode in this category is darker color so this is very similar to darken this blend mode this blend mode doesn't blend pixels, it only compares the base and blend colors. And it keeps the darkest of the two. So it shows the darkest color. Which one is more darker? It shows that. The difference is that a dark color looks at the composite of all the RGB channels. Whereas dark and looks at each RGB channel individually to come up with a final blend. So let's check it out. Here I just open an image. Then we can make a copy of this image and change the top layer blend mode to darken color look at that there is no change because both of these two images are same so there is no change in the contrast or brightness so it highlights more darkened image so we can delete this layer then make a solid color adjustment layer with a red color okay then we can change the blend mode uh, sorry we can keep this layer just underneath of the layer then select the bottom layer top layer and change the blend mode to darker color look at that it's changed or it's mixed with the red color how it's happened 
as I mentioned earlier, it, it shows more dark in color. So the red color is more dark than the bright colors. So the red color is more darker than these colors. So here it's white is present, then the rest of things are more uh, lighter than the red. So it highlights the red color. And these parts are, this just looks like black color or dark color. So it will not cover the red color. So that's why it's happening. We can reduce the opacity. So there is no more difference. But we can play with the blend if settings to show or see something different. But I'm not covering that part right now. Uh, we can do it later. We are discussing blend if in the upcoming sections. So that is darken color. And darken color is sometimes it's helpful to make some uh, color effects to our image. It's, it's not more used in our regular editing. So we have completed this section. We cover five blend modes that including dark and multiply, color burn, linear burn, darker color. So this category was the darken category. Simply these five blend modes darken the image. So we are moving to the next group. Thank you.